going on you to Curtis 7 here for episode number 3 of my Manchester United career mode. Now lads, I know it's been a long, long, long time and I apologise, I've just been really, I've been really, really busy lately. Um, my girlfriend came back from overseas, she was in Fiji on a holiday, so I had to spend quality time with her. Uh, my father had a massive party over the weekend, he celebrated a milestone, so I had a good time with the family, and uh, I had work, and you know how the drill, I was just really, really busy, and I apologise for not getting a career mode episode out to you guys sooner. Now, I do want to mention one thing about my last video, Learn From A Mistake. Um, there was something that I didn't address. Uh, properly in that video, which I will address at the end of this video. I don't want to talk about it any more after this. I want to put it to bed and then that's it. Don't want to mention it. I just forgot to do uh, mention something very, very important. And I will say that after uh, the end of this video. And then that will be it. Kaput no more. You will not be hearing any more about it from me. So wait until the end of the video uh, for that message. But until then, lads, let's not ruin the uh, episode. We've got a career mode episode. Lads, we've got three games. First game, we're in the Capital One Cup against Sheffield United. Then we've got Leicester in the Premier League. And then we've got the Champions League. Yes, lads. It's back. We're going to see the table. We're going to see the uh, other teams who are in our group. But anyways, lads, let's get to the Capital One Cup against Sheffield United. All right, lads. So this is the team facing Sheffield United in the Capital One Cup. This is my second team, but it, will, it should be more than enough to get the job done here. The quality in this team is unbelievable. So we've got uh, Jackson Martinez up top. Oh, obviously, we're playing a 4-3-3, by the way. So Jackson Martinez up top. We've got Nani, who was fantastic last season on the uh, left, uh, left wing position. And on the right wing, we've got Adnan Yenizé. Look at that. He's gone up to 80 so far this season. In the midfield, lads, we've got Fellaini, Wanyama, and Daly Blind in the midfield. That is, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Making his debut also is Fabio Coentrell. Rojo Smalling at the back and we've got Nathaniel Klein also making his debut as well and of course we've got De Gea in goals and remember lads for your cheap and reliable ultimate team coins make sure you check out fifacoinsale.com click the link in the description and don't forget to use the code Curtis for your 5% off now I was telling you in previous episodes oh man Fellaini's captain that was a mistake <laughs> but lads I was telling you in previous episodes I want to win every single cup this game I'm going to be putting Sheffield United to the sword and let's hope we get through to the next round one yam on the ball Daily Blind, he's got a bit of space. Tell you what, he's got a lot of space. Daily Blind, tell you what, cuts back. Daily Blind, mistake from the goalkeeper. Get in, 1 0. Sheffield United, they haven't even touched the ball. That is the start that we we're looking for, lads. Daily Blind, step over, cuts back with his left foot. And I tell you what, these next gen goalkeepers, man, they are trash. Oh, Adnan with the tackling. Well done. Keep the ball. He's kept it. Well done, lad. Adnan. Oh, he's still got the ball. Tell you what, this could be a goal of the season. No. <laughs> hey, I had to, mate. That would have been some goal if he had scored that. Nice passing here, lads. All right, one Yama. Daily Blind. Daily Blind. I tell you what, he's having some game. Daily Blind. Get in there. Come on, Martinez. Get in, lads. What a better play there. Jackson Martinez. Tell you what, Daily Blind is just having a superb game. He's got a goal already. Now he's got an assist. That's a tidy finish from Martinez. Good goal. Oh, Adnan gets the ball on the halfway line. Rives the defender. He's got a few to beat here. Cuts inside. Look at this. Adnan Yanaze. Can he cut in again? Adnan! Oh, he's hit the post! What a goal that would have been. Wanyama to Fellaini. Fellaini, some step overs. Maron Fellaini, can he cut in? He can! What a save from the goalkeeper. Come on, lads, get that out, get that out. Oh no, that's unlucky! Ooh. Tell you what, that could have been 2 1 right there. Come on, let's go, Jackson Martinez. He's got a few to beat here. Now, tell you what, look at that pace! They can't catch him! Oh no, I've done myself a. Oh, that's a penalty! Surely, referee, thank you. I, I was going nowhere. Why would you tackle me? I was going nowhere. Let's take a look at this replay. Honestly, he's just dived in from behind. That is just stupidity at its best. All right, I'm going to let Jackson Martinez take this penalty. He's the striker. He's the man that wants the goals. 
Can he deliver? Jackson Martinez kicked in. 3 0, lads. All right, Fellaini puts in a ball. James Wilson, fresh off the bench. Wilson, Wilson. Tell you what, he does him. James Wilson. Yes, no. Oh, surely that's a corner. Please don't tell me it is. Oh my gosh, James Wilson, fresh off the bench. Making an impact. Should have scored though. Oh no. Tell you what, they've got him behind here. Lads, this is bad defending. They should be. That, oh, Matt, tell you what, if I was a if I was the Sheffield manager, I'd be going off me sky rocket. Oh, that is some bad defending there. I still need to improve. Nani, can he keep it in? Oh he can. Some techers. Give it back to him. Oh, he's got this. Nani. Zaha, fresh off the bench, stays on side. Zaha, come on, look for Wilson. Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> James Wilson, mate, just cannot score. There we go, lads. The full time whistle has gone. We won 3 0 and we're through to the next round. Get it. All right, lads, so we're here on transfer deadline day. 10 hours to go. I'm pretty much interested in nobody, but if an offer comes in, a stupid offer, maybe we might accept. Anyways, let's go. 10 hours come at me. And that is it, lads. Transfer deadline day has ended. Let's go check out how much was spent all up. And there we go, 136, almost 137 million pounds. All right, lads, the next game is in the Premier League. We're at home to Leicester City. All right, lads, this is the team that I'm going to use against Leicester City. Again, it's 4-3-3. Now, uh, we've got Martinez up top because I want to rest Radamel Falcao because the next game, which is in two days' time, we're in the Champions League. So I want to rest Falcao because he's injury prone. Di Maria uh, on the left wing. On the right wing, Yanaze played beautiful for us against Sheffield United. We're going to rest Robin as well, injury prone player. I'm going to be smart with my substitutions. In the midfield, Davy Blind, another player who was fantastic. I'm rewarding him for playing in uh, so good in the last game. He's going to be playing in this game. Pjanic in the midfield with Wayne Rooney. Good to have Captain Waza back. Anyways, the back four lads. We've got Luke Shaw left back, Hummels and Jones in at centre half, and we've got Raphael at right back, and we've got De Gea in goals. No one making a run forward. Martinez, he's got himself some room. Jackson Martinez hit that. Oh, what a tackle. Raphael, nice. Look at this, lads. Rooney put him in. Come on, one more. Come on, Adnan. Oh, it's a bad touch. We're getting in, but we're not, if you know what I mean. We're getting to the final third, and the last ball has just been terrible. Oh, no, what a ball. You're kidding me. What a save, Dave. Win that. Oh, my gosh, lads. We've been let off the hook there. Rooney to Di Maria. Tell you what, Di Maria, he'll do something. Oh, lovely. Di Maria put in a ball. Jackson Martinez. Oh, what a header. Get in! I knew Di Maria would do something good. Beats his player with the scoop turn. Jackson Martinez, if you didn't know, has wonderful heading ability. He was never gonna miss that. Get in! Adnan, step over. Oh, lovely. Didn't do the step over I wanted, but he got the ball. Jackson Martinez, he's got the pace. Jackson, Ma! Oh, what a tackle, man! That was gonna be a goal. Tell you what, the space is open for Pjanic. Pjanic, he can hit them. Pjanic! Oh, that's a goal, surely. No, Adnan finishes. Oh, my gosh. Tell you what, Pjanic should have scored that. Hit the crossbar. I thought it went in. Clearly not, but to be honest, the goalkeeper should have got that. Yenizé was there to finish, and the goalkeeper, he half asked it. You know, he went to get the ball, didn't realise he was too short. And uh, Kasper Smarkle, man, that is your fault. Adnan Yenizé puts us 2-0 ahead. Gets in. Oh no. Interception. Vardy. Vardy. The name Manchester United fans will definitely know from Leicester. Vardy. Oh, what a save from De Gea. Oh my gosh, lads. Best keeper in the Premier League. Definitely. Definitely. That is a biased opinion. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> Di Maria. Look at this. Look at the space Luke Shaw's got. Come on, Jackson Martinez. Get in there. Luke Shaw will give it to you. Come on, Jackson Martinez! Luke Shaw with the rebound, and he's put that. I'll tell you what, about a meter from the corner flag. That is so disappointing. And Herrera, fresh off the bench, puts in a good ball to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw's got him behind. Penalty had to be Luke Shaw getting in behind. Well done, son. Danny Simpson, the ex United player, gives away a penalty on Luke Shaw. Just pulled his shirt. Blatant penalty. Now I've just taken off Wayne Rooney and bring on 
Javier Hernandez. Now, Hernandez takes penalties for uh, Mexico. He's, I'm going to give him the responsibility for this one. Can he do it? Javier Hernandez. Oh, what a penalty, son. 3-0. Adnan on the ball. Finds Daly Blind. Daly Blind with the finesse. Daly Blind straight to Kasper Michael's arms. All right, Adnan on the ball. Nice. Some tickers. Adnan. That's a... Oh, I'll tell you what. Can you hit that? Oh, Here we go, lads. The full time whistle has gone. Back to back 3 0 wins. I'm definitely not complaining. Anyways, lads, let's check out the league table. In fact, no, let's just play the next Champions League game. We'll suss out the tables at the end of the episode. All right, lads, so we're in the Champions League. Now, before we play the next game, I think it will be nice of me to show you the group and the teams that are in our group, and it is. There it is, right there. As you can see, lads, we've got Atletico. Madrid, not an easy team at all. Uh, we've got Besiktas, the uh, Turkish team, and we've got Lokomotiv Moscow, the Russian team. A pretty decent group. Uh, to be honest, lads, I'm going to be honest, we should be getting out of this table and we should be finishing on top. And the first team we're going to be playing is Besiktas at home. That's three home games in a row. That's crazy. But anyways, let's show you my team. All right, lads. So this is the team they're going to go with for the first game in the Champions League. Again, same formation, 4-3-3. Radamel Falcao is up top, appearing for the first time in this episode. And same with Iron Robin as well on the right wing. And De Maria on the left wing. Now in the midfield, we've got Rooney, Pjanic, and Ander Herrera in the middle of the park. And at the back, lads, we've got the same back four. Shaw left back, Hummels and Jones at center half. We've got uh, Rafael at right back, and we've got De Gea in goal. Here we go, lads, back in the Champions League. Now, if you're a new subscriber, we lost the Champions League final against Bayern Munich 1-0. So, we came so close. This season, lads, it's all about the Champions League. It's all about everything. I really want to win everything, starting here. Let's go. Luke Shaw says Rooney. Rooney to Radamel Falcao. Radamel. Oh, sure. How is that not a foul? Referee. Cleaned me up big time. Oh, no. Demba Bar. What a save from De Gea. Demba Bar making something out of nothing. All right, let's go. Di Maria on the counter attack. Oh, lovely stuff, Di Maria. Come on, someone make a run. Tell you what, no one's making a run. Just Di Maria. Still got the ball. No, it's just so frustrating. This game has been nothing but frustrating at the start. Hardly had any chances whatsoever. What a throw from Dave. Alright, Iron Robin on the ball. Lovely stuff. Robin, this is what he does best. Look at that pace. Robin, get it back on your left foot. Cut in. Iron Robin, you know it's just not your day when you can't even get a shot off. Oh no, Pjanic is injured. Let's be real, lads. It was always going to happen. The injury luck continues. For this season. So I'm going to take off Pjanic and bring on uh, Fellaini. In fact, lads, I'm going to change it to a 4-5-1 in the midfield. I feel for some reason that I'm losing out in the midfield. So I'm just going to chuck five guys in the midfield and uh, leave Falcao on top. Alright, lads, let's defend this corner. Come on, we do not want to go 1-0 down. Oh, no. Demba Bar. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! <laughs> Alright, sees Rooney. Nice. Fellaini. Back to Rooney. Falcao. This is nice. I'm liking this. Herrera. Give it to Rooney. Rooney, he can pop them from far. Rooney, have a shot! Rooney! Our first chance of the game. Demba. Bah. Tell you what, that's a decent cross. And that's a decent clearance from Fellaini. Oh, no, lads. Don't concede now! Oh, they've hit the post! Oh! Oh, I tell you what, give me a nil-nil now. I'll take it. Nil-nil, I'll take it. All right, Fellaini. Nice. Fellaini, can you get Robin? That's a lovely ball. Iron Robin lays it off. That's just, that just sums up my whole bloody day. Fellaini. Look at this. De Maria's there. De Maria. Can he hit that? No, he can't. De Maria sees Herrera. Falcao. Radamel Falcao. Radamel Falcao. That's a free kick, surely. Oh, we got a free kick in the 90th minute, lads. Look at the foul. Clear obstruction. 
on Falcao and so close to a penalty too. Now we all know it's going to be Wayne Rooney to take this free kick. He's already scored two rippers this season. Can he score the winner in the Champions League? Come on Waza. Oh, it's hit the wall. That is so disappointing. Just exactly like this game. And there's the final whistle, lads. We have drawn nil-nil. And this game was just so disappointing. <sighs> Anyways, lads, let's go suss out the league tables. And wouldn't you know it, Pjanic has broken his ankle. He's going to be out for three bloody months. Oh. So as you see in the Champions League table, lads, Atletico Madrid's on top. They defeated Lokomotiv Moscow. We and that Besiktas are second or equal second, even though for some reason it says we're second, but it's equal second. But early days, lads. Anyways, let's check out the Premier League table. And here we are, lads. We are second on the Barclays Premier League table. Tottenham are on top because they got the... Uh, but, uh, well, we got the same goal difference, it's just that they've scored more goals. Uh, we're second, happy with that. Chelsea are third, Everton fourth, Liverpool fifth, Arsenal sixth. But as you can see, lads, it is so tight at the top, it's not even funny. If we get one loss, we can easily, easily drop down to 10th. And that's exactly where Man City are, would you believe it or not. But anyways, lads, that's come to the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new, please subscribe. And if you want to follow me on any social media accounts, please click the link in the description. Uh, you'll see my Twitter account, Facebook, Instagram, and all those wonderful things down below. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace. If your girlfriend liked Man City, what would you do? Oh! Oh, shit! Do you think that Manchester United can win the Premier League? Yeah! <laughs> of course, mate! A hundred percent! We are going to be lifting up that trophy in no time! Just... just... not this season. Hopefully the next one we can do it. Just... not this one. Alright, lads. Now... I just want to get this message out the way with. I just want to put it to bed. I just... I just want this to be the end, okay? So after this message, after this little video, you will not be hearing any more about this, okay? So, all right, so obviously my last video uh, learned from my mistake. I forgot to mention a few key issues, okay? Which led to people being angry with Spencer, okay? Now let me just, first things first, Spencer is the innocent one in all of this, okay? Now I can understand why you guys are upset with uh, this series being 100, 100 to 1 being ended. Okay, I, I totally understand that. Okay, it's probably the reason why you subscribed or whatnot. But lads, let me make this crystal clear, okay? It was me, me, the one that ended the series. It was me, the one that deleted the video. It was me, the one that wanted to make that video learn from my mistake. Spencer had absolutely nothing to do with it, okay? I stopped the series on my own accord. He didn't say anything or mention anything, okay? So I've seen a few comments, or oh, you know, it's the bigger YouTuber picking on the little one. Absolutely not. I couldn't, I couldn't disagree uh, more with you. Okay, it has got nothing to do with that whatsoever. Spencer created the content, okay? Now, I made a few minor changes to that, but at the end of the day, lads, I was in the wrong. Now, a lot of people are saying that, uh, oh, you know, copying content, oh, it's all right, everyone does it, everyone does it. You know, oh, you know, this and that and that. And that. At the end of the day, lads, yes, that is true. A lot of people copy a lot of people. I understand that. But that is something that I don't want to be associated with, okay? Spencer said that in a comment, and I couldn't agree more with him. I've seen that I've done wrong, and I don't want to be a part of that. For if, if, if everybody else wants to copy everybody else, that's fine with them. It's not fine with me, and it's not right at all. Now, I just want to say, lads, there is no reason for anybody, for anybody at all, to be upset with Spencer. He has done absolutely nothing wrong in this situation. So I just wanna say my last message to you guys, uh, thank you so, so much for the support that you have given me over the last few days and about this whole situation. But please lads, if you're a fan of mine, you will respect Spencer. He is innocent in all of this 
and I just I'm truly sorry for the series being ended for deleting all these videos But you should be upset with me and not Spencer Okay, that is that's pretty much it. That's all the issues sorted out. You're gonna hear nothing else uh, more than this um, I failed to mention this in the uh, last video uh, learn from my mistake That's why I'm making this message now. So lads, please do not be uh, upset with Spencer at all. Be upset with me. Uh, thank you for your support and that's it lads and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.